Hello! Hi! How's everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Today, this is the look that we're doing. I got some new makeup sent to me. I was recently put on a PR list for Miss Huda Beauty. Thank you so much for seeing me and sending me some stuff. I have been wanting to do a video with just some new stuff, just get my creative juices flowing, and this is what we came up with. So, on my eyes I have Huda eyeshadow. I'm wearing the Huda highlighter palette as well. The melted eyeshadows. And, oh my god, I'm also wearing the matte liquid lipstick and liner. I actually did something new with some of the new stuff that I got. And we came out with quite a, like, a, a edgy? No. Editorial? No. Just like a fun, different kind of makeup today. I hope that it communicates with something relatively wearable if you're like, if you like to experiment with makeup like I do. I would wear this out because, I don't know, it's just makeup. But even if not, you just want some inspiration, I hope that you can get that from this. I'm gonna try and not talk too much because I think I've done a whole lot of talking the last couple hours. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see how I created the look, just keep on watching. While you're here, I will say please like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know that you're here watching. And yeah, just thank you for being here. Enjoy. Hi, I'm back. So, um, to start myself today, I have washed my face, but I haven't done any skincare. I was holding off on skincare because I knew I was gonna film today. And I'm gonna do that part first so you can kind of see what I have been using for skincare lately because I don't talk about it a lot. <clears throat> I don't talk about it actually at all on YouTube, but on Instagram I do a little bit. I washed my face. This is the cleanser that I have been using. So CeraVe, CeraVe, however you say it. SA cleanser, SA is in salicylic acid, and it's a smoothing cleanser. So if you are familiar with like skincare ingredients and stuff like that, salicylic acid is a liquid exfoliant, something like that just helps to smooth out my skin. A liquid exfoliator can be, let me start something else while I talk actually. I'm gonna go in with my toner and it's from a brand called Good Molecules. It's the niacinamide brightening toner, so there is vitamin C and niacinamide in here. Like I was saying, salicylic acid on my skin is exfoliating, therefore will smooth out my skin. I'm just taking some on a cotton round, by the way. But because you're rinsing it off, it's not like leaving salicylic acid on your face like a treatment before bed or anything like that. It's not super drying. It's good for my skin because I have super textured skin. And it's like acne prone, so like bumps and stuff like that. It helps to keep everything all sorted out. And then this toner, well there's niacinamide in it, as I said, and niacinamide is an anti-inflammatory, something that can help regulate oil, I believe, minimizes texture, calms down break breakouts, and can minimize the appearance of pores as well. Oh yeah, and then the vitamin C in there is obviously meant to be brightening. It's about 12 in the afternoon, so this is like my daytime kind of thing that I would do. After that, in the daytime, what I've been using is regular niacinamide. This is from The Ordinary. I put this on mostly just out of habit, if I'm being completely honest. Something like this is, I find it helps to like mattify my skin. Again, minimize the look of pores. And if there is any like bumps or redness on my skin, this really helps to like work throughout the day. I put a little bit on either cheek dot on my nose, some on my forehead, and then give it a rub. <laughs> it gets quite tacky, like it absorbs into the skin very, very quickly. Because I rub my face, it starts to get quite red, but that's just because my skin is super, super sensitive. Next, what I would normally do is a little bit of oil. Um, and I don't know if I'm like doing this in the wrong order, but this is just what I find works for me. So this is a 
squalane oil. It's for surface hydration. The way it's been explained to me is that you can use it on its own or you can use it over top of a moisturizer to seal it in. When I'm doing it on a day where I know I'm gonna wear makeup, I'll do it before my moisturizer because I don't like that oily texture right underneath foundation because I find it doesn't really help things to stay. It gives my skin a little bit too much slip and I do have oily skin. With oily skin, it's gonna do its thing anyway. I then do SPF after this. This is the one I've been using. It's from Clinique, as you can see, and it's an SPF 50, just like a cream. I think it's just like a straight up SPF. And I've just been using this because like, with acids and exfoliants in your skincare routine, it increases your skin sensitivity in general. Um, I live in England, so there isn't like a ton of sun, but when your skin is having increased sensitivity in general, you need to put SPF on it to protect it. This kind of is like moisturizer. I haven't been an SPF person in my life. I don't really like it. However, it's one of those things that you can't skip. If you're putting all this work and time into good skincare and taking care of your skin, there's no point if you're not gonna like take the appropriate steps to protect it as well. But from my understanding, if you're using chemical things to exfoliate your skin and not protecting it properly with moisture and sun protection, your skin actually will just get worse. I mean like pigmentation, it will break out more easier. It just won't cooperate and it's not, it's not good. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> I just wanna look young for a long time. After that, what you should do is throw your moisturizer on or you can do moisturizer and then your SPF. I'm gonna wait to throw my moisturizer on in case I wipe anything with eyeshadow and stuff like that. I'm gonna start my eyes. I'm gonna do my brows before my eyes. Just like I have been lately with my got to be glued, the water resistant spiking glue. This is just what I go to. And I'm just gonna brush up my brows and sort of lay them flat to my skin. Brows are late. <laughs> I want to use some, I got put on a PR list for Huda Beauty recently. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They sent me some stuff. I had a play with one of the eyeshadow palettes. It didn't go amazing, I can't lie. I wasn't really sure, but I wanna give it another go. And I thought why not record it because yeah, I don't, I don't use my YouTube channel enough and that's something I'm working on this year. So they sent me three of these. They sent me the, Amethyst, which is the purple, the ruby, this guy, and then the topaz, which is like a brown. I've done a purple look recently. A brown smoky eye is just like, okay. I will use it, but yeah, just not exciting. I haven't done a red look on my channel before, so I'm gonna use this. And we're gonna look inside here. And these swatch so beautifully, but where I had difficulty was actually putting it on. That's what we're gonna do. I wanna do something kind of graphic and like maybe like a little something else. I'm gonna first prime my lids though. This is what I have been using lately, same as the last video, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer. I like this primer. It's really bright, but it does the job. I'm gonna take this little ColourPop E1 brush, just give it a blend. But yeah, to talk about makeup for a second and online beauty community, online beauty culture, all that kind of stuff, being a content creator. When you are small and your audience is not massive, but bigger than, you know, your average makeup Instagram person, it's a tricky world to kind of navigate, I feel, like in terms of how do we turn this into something where I can make money off of brands that want me to make content with their products? There's a lot of sort of unspoken processes, uh, like in a lot of unspoken, not rules, but guidelines that, you know, aren't public knowledge. So when brands send you things for free and it starts, like when the whole process starts out, it's, it's obviously super exciting, right? Like, free stuff from brands that you never could have imagined getting stuff from and things like that. The products will continue to come, but it also comes with a certain, for me at least, it came with a certain feeling of obligation to produce content with it. And the more makeup brands that see you using stuff, it, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna catch a bit of momentum. And before you know it, you'll be getting a lot of 
PR. And feeling like you want to produce content with all of it all the time is difficult because it does get to a point where you do have to look at how how much time and energy and effort am I putting into something that virtually isn't making me money? So it feels like you're obligated to do something with these things that you're getting for free, but you're not really gaining anything from it monetarily. I, I feel like that's difficult. You know, if you don't look a certain way, sometimes it feels like you're going to be looked over by these brands and not, you know, they might not notice that you are using their stuff a lot. You don't get any interaction from the brand. You don't get um, reposted, commented, followed by the brand, anything like that. And then you do see some of your counterparts in the industry getting that kind of attention. And it's like, well, wait, am I doing something wrong? Or why am I doing this? Like, I'm not entirely sure what I'm expecting from this. It can get really overwhelming. And sometimes you use stuff and it isn't as good as you thought it was going to be. And then you feel like, <sighs> Why am I even doing this? I don't know, I, I'm i just kind of thinking out loud here, but I, I wish more there was more transparency in this industry about it. Sort of how to go about proposing to brands that they should pay you for your content when it doesn't even look like they're looking at your content. So it's like, it's I don't know, I find it very uh, mysterious. And then obviously you get to a point on online where you'll have such a following that brands are constantly reaching out to you. And it's just like, I guess I can't really speak on that part, but you assume that it starts to make sense. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. I just find this whole online thing like very mystifying and like confusing and for different people in different parts of the world, it works differently. I don't know, it's just something I think about quite a lot. Anyhow, I'm gonna take some of this one here. These don't have names, so you just kind of have to look at what I'm using. And this is on a 221 brush from MAC. See, and already this is going on much differently than it did last time. Maybe I was just having a bad day. So I'm thinking I want to do something that's like winged. This is actually being a lot more cooperative than it was last time. I think there was some kind of evil spirit haunting me that day because <laughs> It just, a whole lot of things went through my mind that day. And most of them weren't good thoughts. I'm gonna take a flat brush and just kind of sharpen up that shape with the same color. Um, so I hope everybody's new year's been going good. I should be careful what things I say. I have sort of time stamped my videos with things that I've talked about. I've exposed myself rather and how long my editing process has taken me. You know, life just gets so busy sometimes that it's really, really hard for me to prioritize editing. This does go back to what I was saying at the beginning of this. It's hard to prioritize something that isn't making you money. Obviously, when you want something to start making you money, you do have to invest time and energy into it. It's a bit like starting a business. You could say like how you need capital to invest into that. It's a bit of a loss for a while until it comes back. Anywho. What I'm wanting to do, I think, is like a wing shape. So I'm gonna cut this nice and sharp underneath. I wanna put something shimmery on my lid. I'm thinking this like middle one, it's like a cranberry shimmery color. I'm gonna put a base down and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use the matte side first. Oh, sorry, I thought it was scented. <laughs> Just spreading it out. While it's still a little bit tacky, I'm gonna take some of this guy here. Oh, that's pretty. That's cute so far. I'm gonna switch to the other end called Drop Top and go from the ooh, ooh, ooh inner corner. Give that a blend as well. And I'm just gonna do that with a little Anastasia brush. A14, it's a little pencil brush. Tap over top of it. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna start to add some depth now. So I'm gonna take this burgundy color here, and this is a little Morphe brush. It's an M149. This has become like one of my all time favorite brushes. It's just like a tiny pencil brush. It just like always gets product right where I want it, but it's the shape of like a small cotton bud. Thank you Morphe for existing. I wanted to find the upper lash line, but blend it at the same time. Hmm. 
I want to add a black liner, I think. This is Brush Black Liquid Liner. This is from MAC. I'm just going to do a wing. I haven't done a wing on here in so long. I changed up the way that I do wings a little bit as well. I used to do a wing like quite straight, but I've been actually starting the top part of the wing first, like the top line, because I like it to be quite thick and triangular and actually go up more. I'm just liking the way that this lifts my eye a little bit more. That was stressful. <laughs> I'm gonna do the other side now. I think I got them as similar as I'm gonna. They're big. They're big bubbas. Already, you can see it, it like actually just flips the outer corner of my eye up. So now my eyes look way more almond and like down on the inside and up on the outside. So it just accentuates that shape really nice. Just, whoop. What I'm gonna do now is just get rid of all the fallout under my eyes because it's not cheap. <laughs> Cotton round, it's my silver water. We're all clean, and she's looking snatched. I know it's a lot, but I'm gonna put lashes on just cause, just cause I'm gonna put lashes on. <laughs> These are from Unicorn Cosmetics called Lemon Meringue, that's the style. Be right back in a sec. Okay, uh, I got my lashes on. At this point, I'm gonna go on to base. Back to the beginning of the video, I said I was gonna do my moisturizer before I do my base. So it's this guy. This is a priming moisturizer. It's from Good Molecules, silicone free. That's probably too much, but I'm not actually going anywhere, so. I feel like when I film as well, I get so stressed while I do my eyes because it's like I have to focus. And then the second my eyes are done, it's like I can be chatty. And then I'll end up doing my base for like literally 45 minutes. Nice and simple. Next thing is foundation. I debated saying that I'm just using one because it's like more chic, but I need more coverage than that. I'm not really mixing as much as I'm like layering, I guess, but I've been using MAC Face and Body, which is like an old fave. I stopped just because the color wasn't right, and then I found the Dior Face and Body, and I loved it, and now at this time of year, because it's February, it's too dark for me, and I don't want to spend another 30 pound on a foundation at the moment, because I have so many, but I just have ways to make it work, so I went back to my old Face and Body, this is the color C5, and then this is Makeup Revolution, this is Conceal and Hydrate, this color is F10, these are just really good for like a glowy, super glossy base, I'm gonna powder, but but these two, I find, makes like a nice sheer-ish, medium-ish coverage. I'm gonna be a real beauty blogger for a second and squirt it right onto my face. And just pray that I don't get it on my person. I'm wearing this really cute Prince t-shirt that one of my best friends, Maya, got me. So, I don't wanna ruin that. I'm gonna blend it in with this Huda Beauty brush. I'm gonna take a pump of this one. I like this foundation, and it's a pretty actually good color for me. Just, as you can see, it's a little bit light. It adds a little bit more coverage, which I wish I didn't need, but I do. <laughs> I'm liking this brush. I just wish it was a bit bigger. Um, it's also not meant for foundation. <laughs> so I can't sit here and be like, oh, this is what I would change, but it's not a foundation brush. Anyway, I think bake and blend. So I'm assuming blend is maybe for like the tan tour things that she does, which I really want to try. And bake, I wouldn't use a brush to bake, but I mean, everybody makes their choices. Anyway, that cocktail of foundation, like my skin looks bomb. It looks very shiny, but it looks bomb. I'm going to do some concealer now. This is newer as well. Doesn't feel new to me because I use it every single day, but um, it's different than what is in my last YouTube video. It's um, Too Faced, born this way. This, this is amazing, it's so good. By the way, the color is sand. I don't like my concealer super bright. I prefer concealer to be like the color of my cheek or same color as my foundation. I'm just using a Morphe sponge to press that in. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna set my under eye. I'm using two powders. One is Huda Beauty Sugar Cookie, and the other one is Maybelline Fit Me Loose in Medium. I do the Maybelline powder first, just to basically set my eyes to like the same color as the concealer. And then I put the sugar cookie on, because it's white, I put that on to like bake and highlight. I'm just gonna dust a bit of that Maybelline powder all over my face too. This is a Lush Cheek to Cheek brush. My face looks so bright. I actually want to do something like kind of cute on my under eye. It was an idea that I had. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna dust away some of this powder. I didn't really leave it on for very long, but it definitely did set and brighten my under eye. Also, look how flat it looks. So here's my idea, okay? I want to draw with liquid liner some barbed wire, like that. So like, just like a couple links of it, I think three and then two lines that are gonna go along the wings liner as well. Wish me luck. Probably just gonna be quiet and time not to this part because if I talk, it's gonna be not good. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, if you ask me, I think that looks pretty sick. I just wanted to be kind of like a barbed wire tattoo. Just following the shape of the eye makeup so that it comes like up like this. It looks like a tattoo or like an Instagram filter. Do you know what I mean? I'm just gonna do my other eye. I'll be back. Both eyes are done now. That went actually surprisingly okay. I think it's cute. Anyway, I'm gonna stop like feeling myself now and wrap up this face because it's taking me a while now. I need some bronzer. <laughs> that has become shockingly apparent to me. Yeah, we're a bit flat. Not sure if I used this in my previous video. I think it was Caramel Cutie that I used. This is the lighter one. In my previous video, I said, oh, I wanna try the lighter color. And I just love these bronzers so much. They're so good. I'm going to take that on a big fluffy bronzer brush. It's the blush brush. This might be a number, I'm not sure. RT400 from Real Techniques. Add some life back to this very dull looking face. And I like that the whole eye is done now because I can follow the shape of my bronzer with this, everything's up, like this, right? So from the front, my whole face looks like, it's very feline, very sexy, very sultry. Again, let me not timestamp my video too much because if this ends up taking me a month to get up, say too much but it's the beginning of February right now as I'm filming it so there's your timestamp Valentine's is like a week and a half from now so this is feeling very Valentine's y except way less feminine and like ethereal and flirty and more like I I'll kill you if you don't give me my Valentine believe it or not I have never had a Valentine never had a boyfriend and like I'm almost 28 now. I don't really get Valentine's Day. Like I don't fully feel like I understand it. Valentine's Day doesn't really celebrate much. <laughs> and I feel like people use it as an excuse to like spend money. It's not even really about being in love or showing the people that you love that you love them. Cause if we're being real here, you can show someone that you love them any day of the year. It doesn't need to be like, here's a box of chocolates, like, hope you're happy. Excuse me. But maybe that's just like my bitter self showing because I, I would like to be someone's valentine. Not even that, I think I'd like to have a valentine. No, no, I'm not gonna get into all that. 
I'm gonna take some blush. It's the same one I used in the last video. It's super similar to a MAC blush called Lovejoy. I feel like this eye makeup shape changes my mood. I'm gonna use yet another Huda product because you know when you get new makeup and you just are like, well, if I don't use this for something, it might just sit there. So, this is the Golden Sands 3D Highlighter Palette. It looks like this. There's it in a shadow. So one is a cream. I'm gonna avoid that. That's too much right now. I'm gonna go into, I think I'm gonna use Tahiti first, which is like the darkest one, like the bronziest one, I should say. And this is on a Morphe M510. That's really pretty. I love a bronzy highlighter that's like my shit. I'm gonna take some of Seychelles, this lighter gold one here. I always layer highlighters because I feel like One's like deeper and kind of glowy bronzy and then one's like on the top, like right on the top of the cheek. <laughs> on that same brush. See how we just catch the very tip of my cheekbone? This is something I do specifically for my face, just cause I know what I like on my face. And right here. And now, I'm a glowing little nugget. That's really nice though, I really like this. I'm gonna keep this out. I'm going to put my beauty spot back on. I don't feel like my makeup's done till she's on. I have a pimple here. I'm gonna just do a couple, a couple freckles. I'm not gonna go crazy, just a couple. Oh yeah, I'm doing that with this brow pen from MAC. Shape and Shade Brow Tint, and the color is Spike. These are really good for faux freckles as well if you venture down that avenue. <laughs> Yeah, next and last, I'm gonna do my lips. Thankfully, I already decided what I was gonna do on my lips before I started filming today because normally I don't, and then I just wind up doing the same. Lip contour, the color is called Trendsetter. And then this is the matching liquid lipstick. These are like those lip liners that go on really, really soft but they dry quite quick. I'm 90% sure this would be like a waterproof formula. I will say, out of every matte liquid lip formula I've tried, and I've tried loads because I've always wanted to like it, but I, I just don't. They always feel a bit too thick and like gummy, um, but this is actually really thin. It doesn't feel gummy. My teeth look hella white. I still wouldn't wear it. I'd still always want to put gloss on it. And also, it's just a bit too dark of a color for my preference. Anyway, I'm gonna put a gloss over it because that's just my brand. This is from Makeup Revolution. It is a pout bomb and it's a plumping gloss. The color is called Candy. Straight away, I feel like this is more me. Even still, I feel like this is more pink than I would normally be on my lip. You know what, 2020, breaking habits, trying new things. Anyway, that's where the look will be left because I'm super happy with this. Thanks for watching. I hope you didn't get too bored. I hope I've been entertaining. I hope you like this. Something different. Definitely glad that I give that Huda Beauty eyeshadow another chance and didn't just write it off. It works really well. The highlighter was great. Liquid eyeshadows, these are really good. Anyway, I'm not gonna ramble anymore. I will just say thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you liked it. Let me know what you wanna see coming up. Until next time. What do I say? Until next time what? <laughs> um, bye. No. I will see you in my next 